In my last video, I slightly touched on the subject of those who want to get revenge, or those who have a feeling of wanting to get revenge. It may not even be uh, directed at specific people. There could just be this overwhelming feeling. And this happens to, this can happen to anyone, any gender, any sex, any whatever, right? And this feeling will disallow you from truly seeing both sides of an issue. And if you mistaken it for just anger, then the ways that you try to counteract, you know, with logic, that what you're interpreting as anger, then you're not going to be able to fully counter that feeling, and it's still going to come out in what you're doing. Now, sometimes just realizing where, you know, that something could be coming from a feeling of wanting to get revenge, uh, just you realizing that can get you out of that. You know, you'll, you'll do what you need to do to be like, oh shit, that's my frame of mind. You know? And knowing is half the battle, I guess, to some degree too, because I mean, you will... After realizing that, you'll go through a lot of stuff. And I went through that quite a bit. Especially, I mean, especially over this past year. And before that, I just wasn't aware of that feeling and what that meant. You're not going to get anywhere in a debate or discussion with someone if what's guiding you or influencing you to do something is that feeling no you're not going to get anywhere the MRAs do it a lot uh, the feminists do it a lot you're all wanting to get revenge on each other for disagreeing And in some cases, being bullies. The people on the MRA side are tired of the feminist bullies. The people, the feminists are tired of the MRA bullies. And so this feeling of wanting to get revenge becomes stronger and stronger. And then we have other things in the United States... We've got this election where it's the two worst candidates this country has ever seen. Both of them make George Bush look like a nice president, as far as I'm concerned. Both Trump and Hillary are the worst choices this country has ever fucking seen. And it's hard not to let that sort of thing mix in with your other feelings when you're dealing with issues. And when I've mentioned this to, to some other people about how, well, some of what's making people so uptight is this election. But yeah, any, anyone living here in the United States is going to be uptight because of that. It's just flat out. Okay, we have no idea what's going to become of this country after this election. We have no fucking idea. And it's, it's hard to imagine that it's going to be good for the people. So we've got that floating around in our heads, at least those of us living in the United States. Of course, those that are living outside the United States, I mean, the United States is the world's bully. So what are we going to turn into with the next president, with the next presidential administration? What are we going to turn into? Of course, some people have a, have a uh, conspiracy theory that um, there's all this big plan anyway, and and I sometimes wonder about it, uh, if whether it could be true that there's some big plan anyway, and they're putting up these work these faces that we just think are awful because there's already a plan to do something awful, so we might as well uh, blame it on uh, uh, the figureheads, which the, you know the presidents, right? 
But, uh, I'm, I'm going way off topic now. Sorry. Um, but there's so many things to consider right now. People have become more polarized than I have, I can ever, ever, ever remember. I mean, I, I remember a lot of arguments throughout my childhood. I remember them in high school. I remember them in college. And I've been on these political forums for years. And I've never seen the kind of polarization that I see now. And within that, there is this feeling of wanting to get revenge. You know, on the opposite party. So that adds to all this shit too. But it's important for us to feel, to, to, to be in touch with our emotions and actually understand what's going on. Because when you do understand that, you can use logic to counter what it is that you're feeling. But if you don't actually understand what you're feeling, no amount of logic in the world is going to help that. And that's why paying attention to your feelings is important. But many of you want to make, oh, that's just for wussies, and that's just... There was someone, uh, 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 Harry Hand was saying that I'm, I'm very feminine in a lot of the stuff that I do. Well, I'm masculine and I'm feminine. Okay, I, I want to try to exude the best, the, the best things about masculinity and femininity that I can. So, you know, if that bothers you, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, uh, I, I do talk a bit about uh, what some of the negative sides to certain types of masculinity uh, can be. I've also, in plenty of videos, talked about some of the negative types of, of what femininity can be. And I've talked about how masculinity has power, no matter how you go about it. And if you want that power, you've got you've to wield it. You can't continue to be the way you are and then expect people to treat you as if you've wielded it. it that doesn't work. So... And there's a set of emotions that represent when you're more masculine and when you're more feminine. There's a certain set of emotions. But again, if we're not paying attention to them, you know, we're certainly not going to... Uh, it, it's certainly going to be harder for us to switch modes when we need to. So... I don't know. And there's these people that are like, well, no, the best thing is to... I just couldn't believe I was reading. I, I didn't even bother commenting. I was just like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Um, have your walls up all the time and just bring them down just once in a blue moon for someone you're really close to. And I'm like, that's such a sad existence. What a sad fucking existence that would be. I mean, if that works for you and you and you and and it's 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 never done you wrong, then fine. But to me, that's like missing out on so many experiences in life. You got to take the bad with the good, as far as I'm concerned. You know, if you are emotions and you emotional and you celebrate your emotions, then you're going to have a, a, you know a lot of bad experiences and you're going to have some good experiences. And these good experiences are things that people who don't celebrate their emotions are never going to be able to feel. And just because you're able to do that doesn't mean you can't switch modes and be masculine when you need to, be feminine when you need to. <laughs> you know, so many people that aren't trying aren't continually trying to make themselves better people. I find that strange. I 
find it strange. We only have got so much time to try to, to figure out, you know, who we really are, what do we represent, and what are we capable of. We only have so much time. It could end in an instant from a, a, a ridiculous car accident. It could end in an instant from some strange uh, uh, hereditary disease that just suddenly shows up. I mean, it's... The amount of ways we could just be gone tomorrow is, is limitless. And we can't possibly really make the world a better place for other people if we're not also trying to improve ourselves at the same time. It's just, it just doesn't work that way. And in the process of us making ourselves better people, we can help make other people better people as well. So... I've learned so much over the past couple of years. So much. Just, I look back and go, wow. Wow. August 13th, 2013 at 8.50 p.m. My mind became unlocked. And I still look back and it's just, it's, it's amazing to me. I, I've, I'm, I've mentally been able to achieve something I never thought was possible. And I may still have some problems, but I never thought I'd get this far. And now I know I can continue to make myself a better person. So, yeah, I recommend highly getting in touch with your emotions and being honest with yourself when you are, when, when, when you know something that is driving you is, is a very negative thing. Be aware of it. At least admit it to yourself. Write it down somewhere. Because if you're not able to admit it to anyone else, and you are, even if you are admitting it to yourself, kind of, you're not fully admitting it to yourself unless you somehow express it, at least in my view anyway. Just write it down somewhere. Somewhere that no one will ever find, you know, whatever. Maybe that's bad advice. Maybe that's bad advice to say that you've got to write it down somewhere or you've got to somehow express it because different people work with things differently. So, you know, nix what I just said there. But to me, that could be something that could help someone. So... Anyway, 